We are gonna be making one of my most popular recipes ever. So simple, it's so delicious, and it comes together in half an hour. Roasted tomato and white bean stew, coming at you. Let's get cooking. I have no idea why it has taken me this long to make a video of one of my most popular recipes. I can be a bit of a self-sabotager. <laughs> I'm Kulu Henry, a cookbook author and recipe developer, and today we're gonna to be making one of my most popular recipes of all time. It is the roasted tomato and white bean stew. It lives on NYT Cooking. It has over 11,000 five-star reviews, and it comes together in 30 minutes. It is vegan, it has minimal ingredients. One of the great things about this recipe is that you can make a tomato stew in winter because we're utilizing cherry or grape tomatoes which are available in supermarkets year round. The reason that we roast them and that we take that extra step is because the tomatoes when they're roasted with the thyme and some olive oil and some salt and pepper is that they become really sweet and we want to roast these until they just start to get a little bit golden and they collapse and they truly add another layer to the stew, which is really why the recipe is so sort of special and it's much more than the sum of its parts. Let's get our oven to temperature, preheat to 425. The next thing we get to do is make a gremolata type topping for our stew. I'm gonna go ahead and just start picking off some parsley leaves, zesting a lemon, and putting these together in a small bowl and with your hands just toss it until everything is working well together. I have two 10 ounce containers of grape tomatoes here. You don't have to do anything to them. All we need to do is drizzle a quarter of a cup of olive oil, a tablespoon of thyme, season it, salt, pepper, pop it in the oven. I'm not gonna even bother grabbing a spoon. I'm just gonna We'll pop them in the oven. The tomatoes are in. They're gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes. We can use this time to get the rest of the stew prepped and ready to go. So when the tomatoes come out, we can add them and dinner will be ready. Thinly slicing the garlic, gonna add it. The onions are looking really nice, looking nice and translucent. We're not taking on any color. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic as well as some red pepper flakes. So let that go for another minute or so. Then we're gonna add our beans and our broth and bring everything to a simmer. The onions have cooked down a little bit. The garlic is now also translucent. The red pepper flakes are in. The next thing we're gonna do is add in two 15 ounce cans of butter beans. I love a butter bean. That's what I've called for in the recipe. They're delicious and creamy and they're one of my favorite beans. Right into the pot. We then add in a cup and a half of vegetable stock. This has been simmering for about five minutes. Looks and smells delicious. And now we get to smash our beans, which is kind of the fun part. I'm gonna take my Ikea potato masher and mash some beans. We want about half a cup of mashed beans. And the starch in the beans is going to thicken the stew. So you really want to get in there and like pulverize. Last, but certainly not least, we have our beautiful caramelized and roasted tomatoes. We're going to add these directly to the pot along with any juices that have accumulated. Just go right in there. I'm gonna stir everything together until well combined and let it hang out together for about 10 to 15 minutes just so all the flavors can get to know each other a little bit better. And then pull it off the heat and let it sit for about three to five because it'll thicken as it cools. Top each portion with some of the parsley and lemon zest mixture. Roasted tomato and white bean stew. It's so much, it's so good. It's so much better than it should be in a way. <laughs> it's just like delicious and comforting and the lemon and the parsley give it such a nice lift. I get why people love it so much. For this 
this recipe and many more, check out my Substack, kaloohenry.substack.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching.